Problem number two, the battery in the right has a voltage of 12 volts. It's supposed to be on the right, but it's not. It's just on the bottom. And we have a current of 0 0.03 amps. We want to know the resistivity of the resistor if this is the length of the cross-sectional area. Um, I put the word cross-sectional area there. I'll just tell you, don't confuse yourself with that word. If you don't like that word, I need to write it because we have to be clear for physicists what we're talking about. Um, but most of you will probably have a common sense notion of the area that we're talking about if we think of the resistor as a cylinder. The area, the cross-sectional area is the area of this flat face right here. So here we go. First, um, I'm dealing with resistivity. And this is what we're asking for. Uh, I also have Ohm's law available to me because I have a battery hooked up. So let's do this in two steps. I know that V equals IR. And um, so what I can do is I can actually substitute V over I equals rho L over A. If I really want to be sassy, I can do some algebra. Okay, so I'll multiply by A and I'll divide by L. So I end up getting that the resistivity is V times A over L times I. And when I plug in my numbers, I got 12 volts times an area of 4 times 10 to the negative 6th. Sorry, 4 times 10 to the negative 6th. Um, and I is, so L is 0 0.01. I is 0 0.03. And we end up isolating rho. Um, let's actually do all the math here. And what we'll end up getting is the following. I'm going to do this. Sorry, bear with me. We're going to have 12 times 4 to the negative sixth divided by 0 0.01 and divided by 0 0.03 and that's going to give me 0 0.16 and the units are actually um, ohms per meter. All right, so um, that actually is question number two. And um, I will go ahead and publish that now.